Okay, let's talk about this one. It's a strange one, it's insane, it's crazy, and it's called Frank. Now, the main reason and the number one reason I was really excited to see this movie is that it stars Michael Fassbender, but do we really ever get to see Michael Fassbender? The whole time, he's wearing this big, huge head mask of some kind, and you'll have to see the movie to find out if he takes it off. Well, he's not the star of this film. Surprisingly, Michael Fassbender is not the star. The star of this film, the main person that we follow, the main thing that's driving the story, is played by an actor named Domnell Gleeson, who was in one of my favorite movies of last year called About Time. And he plays this kid who loves music. He's always got these songs in his head, but he can't find an audience at all. He's a, he's a keyboardist. He writes his own music. He sings, and he tries to create his own music but he just really can't find an audience whatsoever. But because of certain circumstances, he is brought into this band that has this weird name that I can't pronounce it. I don't think any of the band members can pronounce it, which the lead singer is Michael Fassbender. And also who's in the band is Maggie Gyllenhaal, and I think the manager or whatever, the person that kind of uh, controls this band is played by Scoot McNary. And our main star, Gleason, Mr. Gleason, pretty much goes with them as they're trying to go to this cabin and create their new album or first album or something like that. And there's really weird, crazy shenanigans that they get into and in hopefully making it to uh, a stage where people will actually give a damn about them. That's really the gist of the story. Now, yeah, I was uh, pretty damn interested to see this movie on the fact that I just love Michael Fassbender and I like the whole concept. I like the whole idea that we, we, we don't get really see his face. He can only explain what his expressions are going on in his face. And that was kind of the, the one part that I actually really started to enjoy this film because of that. Because he would like talk about these things and then he'd be like, I'm smiling right now or I'm frowning or, you know, he have this really cool way of explaining things. And I thought that was pretty, pretty clever for what, that, what they were trying to do with that. And I like uh, Domhnall Gleeson. I think he's a really great actor and very likable. Probably one of the most likable aspects of this movie because the rest of the cast... Other than the fact of Michael and Domnell, the rest of the cast is kind of just strange and weird. Scoop McNary's character is really off, and Maggie Gyllenhaal's character is completely jealous of something throughout the entire film. She's just crazy at all. I think I think everybody pretty much has got something wrong going on with them inside. And you, as you watch the movie, you're going to find out why, especially near the end, you'll find out why he wears the mask and, you know, you know what drives him through this whole journey. And uh, you know what, I actually, I really like this film. Yeah, it's, it w I wish it was more uh, uh, profound, and I wish I was more emotionally connected to this story, but I like this weird journey that we go on, and and which leads us to, uh, as this band is slowly getting discovered through Twitter and Tumblr and YouTube, and that was kind of cool, and it does have this really cool indie vibe to it that's just, obscure and crazy at the same time eh, a little honest and does feel true at times but then there's times where it does feel out of place and a bit uneven and especially in the final act of the film I felt like uh, this doesn't really this does you know I, I was expecting more near the very end that's not much I was expecting it's something different something more intriguing to the fact that I was like wow I see this whole world in a whole different way. I like the fact that, uh, one thing I do like a fact that, that, that this is kind of based on an individual that actually did this, that had to hide inside his mask for some certain reasons and he would perform this way. And, and so the, mo the movie is a, a tribute to him, it's dedicated to him and his memory. Uh, but I, I actually I kind of like the concept more than the movie itself. I like the way the mask looks. I like Michael Fassbender's acting. I like how he can act. We don't really have, get a chance to see his face, and there's some funny moments, some really honest moments that come from that. I like some of the relationships that the actors have. But this is something that I can't like give a strong recommendation. This is an indie gold, and uh, my heart wasn't pounding and, and feeling anything emotional during this whole thing. But I like this strange, weird little journey that we go through as we watch this film. Uh, I, 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 again, I do wish the ending 
uh, just was different. I, I, there was something missing. There's something definitely missing from this film. But I, I like the overall journey to where we get to know these characters, and I just wish there was some different different uh, kinds of resolution, especially for the main character, Dom Hell, Dom Hell uh, Gleason's character. I felt like he didn't get a chance to really resolve anything that he was actually dealing with. It you know, at first we get to know him, but then once he gets to know Frank and the band, it almost turns like the Frank story, like he has to help Frank in some way, and I, I don't know, maybe that was in turn helping himself. But I felt like. That movie, that brought the movie down just a little bit, but still, it's a good movie. It's weird, it's strange, and avant-garde a little bit, and uh, I like the whole uh, the whole idea of it. Actually, I really like the whole idea of it. It's a fun little concept. It doesn't feel like a gimmick. That was one thing I was worried about. It would feel more like a gimmick. It doesn't feel that way, but it is fun, and I give it a slight recommendation. If you want something unique and different, and you like Michael Fassbender, you want to see him do something completely different than he's done before, because he's done a lot. You know, just watch Shane. Anyways, so I'm going to give Frank a slight three stars out of four. I'm Wee Matt Chat. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter and I'm on Facebook. And please go to WeLiveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to We Live Film. Also go to Long Beach Acting and Film Association right here on Facebook and Twitter. Please also go to MoviePod.com and if you've enjoyed this video, review, video, video review, please click right here. Subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, a wonderful night, and a wonderful life. And I'll see you at my next movie review. Bye, everyone. Peace be with you, my friends.